Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, I just finished up a Walker Assault game, and today we're gonna be doing a video, Walker Assault How To. So this video is gonna be about what to do in Walker Assault, and what should you use in your hand for Walker Assault. As you see there, I got 520 credits from a Walker Assault game. Some of you might be able to get more, some of you might get less. And I'll show you how I did great and show you and it works real good and the worst I've seen someone do with my strategy is 2,500 points which would convert to 2,500 no, 250 credits. Okay, so we're gonna be playing Walker Saw on Endor. So as you can see, oh my god, it keeps showing my hand. Okay, well you probably saw my hand. This is the bingo hand. You don't need a trait. You definitely need to. You need a homing shot, no matter what. Homing shot is great. It's long range, over f 2,500 yard feet. Personal shield, wow. Saves you from other pulse cannons and homing shields. And a jetpack, of course. And for close range, if you guys are wondering, this is a pretty good hand, but I'm not gonna get into close range, okay. For guns, I used A280C because it's like the, what's it called, the homing shot that I, it's like a homing shot, but as a gun. Oh, we're, are we? Okay, so we're Imperials. First, I'm gonna get, you wanna always look for these big walker pickups. This is key. You get an orbital strike, heavy blasters, and light blasters. So you wanna always start out with your orbital strike. Place that. Get into your light blasters and just start shooting at where all the enemies are. Like over there. It's so like right here, would be a good place. Play. I don't know if that was good or bad, but. Warning, enemy bomber has got a lock on our walker. And then if you need to go into heavy blasters, and if people in these little doors, you control them. Show them who's boss. Yeah, this is one of the main things to d get into. If you know how to use it good. Well, I didn't use it that good, but. We deactivated their Let's place that right there. Just place the orbital strike. You wanna, you're, it's all about the orbital strikes when you go in those things. Okay, that was a terrible example. You wanna always look for the hero pickups. You see boss? Boom, get the hero. Rebel troopers have if you were an the Imperial place. or a Rebel, walkers, this next trick works for both teams. You get up here. You have to have a jetpack with this. This is the only way it works. You need a jetpack or you cannot even do this. Unless you can find a creative way to do this. I could, there's no way for me to figure that out. Okay, so you wanna always come like 15 feet away from the outbreak. You wanna have a light jetpack, jump on here. And you slight, you want to shoot at people? A uh, well, homing AD. missile. Okay, well, if you can't lock on to anyone, you want to fall backwards, and then you want to fall in just perfectly like I did. Move on that I did it perfectly. You need to be perfect to do this. And you need to have a lot of experience to learn how to do this. For me, the Xbox personally is easier to do this hack. So, well, yeah, it's easier to do because the controls are more 
loose and it, it's easier to do this. Okay. So you can't, the bad thing about this is that you can't really lock on down there unless you go like this. It's the only bad thing I hate about this spot. But if you want to get into like a different one, you probably could do it if you just go like this. You fall and you jetpack right back. You wait for your jetpack to reload. Oh, and just let you know you can't get on top of that platform. It's, maybe you can, but I'm pretty sure it's 100% impossible. Yep, it, I am. If you, unless you know a YouTuber who can get up there, I have no. I cannot help you get up there because I do not have to know how to do this. Well, I'm not doing as good out as I was on Hoth. The Hoth was easy though. They're all right here. Oh, I got poke cannon. But yeah, you can go like that, stay out of people's views, and snipe them. That is one of the key strategies to getting homing shot kills. For a hug contract or for fun and points. Okay, and w one thing also you can do, preferably is the rebels. You can go, instead of defending or attacking the walker, you can go to the uplinks. I know you're like, why would you go to the uplink? But the average person in Battlefront does not, the average person in Battlefront gets 20, they get 120 points from attacking the walker. And you automatically get 350 points for setting up the uplink station. So it's better to set up the uplink station than to attack the walker. So you can be, you can go ahead, left to the walker, and you'll get, oh, you'll get like 200 more points than you would. I don't know if that goes through shields. No. Wow. Well, see here, they had the same gun as me. But if there's no one there in that shield, boom, you go right up there. You kill everyone. You go and you disable the uplink. I should have done that, but I knew they were going to come up behind me and kill me. Because they would have faster than I could have set up the uplink. Because there were two of them. If there were one of them, I probably could have challenged them, beat them, and won that. Someone probably just shot a speeder bike right at that. And if you're having trouble stomping people with the walker, go check out, I don't know what his channel name is, there's this guy who did a video on, like if you're having trouble with the hut contract where you need to stomp on like 20 people or 25 people. It's hard, but if you do, watch, go watch his video. You type in how to kill people with, while stomping on them in Walker Assault. You're gonna get, it's gonna be a piece of cake after you watch the video. I've not watched the video, but I've gotten a bunch of people on from the channel comment section so like watch the video if you need to need chicken walker or AT AT kills a lot of people need those AT AT kills and if you want to get one of those Dura Durama kills I mean Durama things you need to stomp on people with AT AT and kill them, like 25. And it's hard, but if you watch the video, what do you think it is, gonna be hard or easy? Well, definitely easy, cause why wouldn't it be? I definitely wanna get up there. Don't know where that leads to though. Good thing I have a personal shield. That's why you use a personal shield. So you can push. You know I'm gonna get killed there because I had no health the personal shield, sorry. My headphones. 
are hurt. My ears are hurting from my headphones, so I'm just gonna talk to you guys in the mic. And that'll be way easier. The second thing you want to do for pickups is well, third thing, heroes the best. So big chicken walker is the second best, and that little chicken walker I was pointing at is the third best. But any one of those is a great to get in Walker Assault. As you can see, I got one of them, but I did it really well. I did not do it really to it. I had a bad spot for it, but it could, if I had a way better spot, like on Hoth, Hoth it's great, but I was playing with the Rebels, so I couldn't get it. And one of the other things you want to do with the homing shot is come and you want to go on these things and you can snipe people but don't do it through shields because it doesn't Enemies work in the zone. Oh, and don't you lose a spirit oh. there. you don't want to lose anyone disabled the rebel uplink don't allow them to reactivate is that actually going to hit? Ooh, yeah. Okay, now they're gonna be trying. Oh, you first, and if you could. Oh, no, I'm not going to find it. I'm gonna yes, find a spot above it. Stay there and camp. Because if someone sets it online, just kill them while they're doing it. And you get like. Extra that points, so that's good. Okay, well, that's not all my homing shots going on that guy. I'm gonna quickly turn this off. Wow, if I don't get killed. Yeah, that was probably the guy that said it, the open. Okay, well, where are the walkers? Once I see the walker, I can tell where the next open oh, is going to be because the walkers always march. Protect our walker. Okay, the rebels the are inflicting heavy walker damage. Right behind. You, call it, you, you can go on the walker if you're skilled. Well, I think I'm skilled. Last time I went on the walker, it was PCP. It's good to go on it when not everyone's shooting it, but that's like the only time you can really get on the walk. Okay, that was good. I fired it. You want to fire this thing as soon as possible. But I want to make sure I'm clear before I jump on this thing. So I know there's some rubble snipers. And I was a better way to do it. Oh, go right here. And you want to wait till not that I'm not shooting. Right? Once it becomes next, next up, I'm going to jump at once. Perfect. And you want to kneel while you're on the locker. Put some shield if you lose health quickly. And you can just ride on the walk through to victory. Skywalker has been defeated. All those cool. This is a bad part to be on the walker. Here, I'll take that. Where is it? Did you guys just see the hero pickup or did I get screwed? By a fake hero. Yup, I got screwed by a fake hero. Sucks. It's not one of the hero and I just jumped off the walker. Maybe I can get that one. I'm not going to it because it's a waste of time. But yeah, if you see a hero pick up there, usually it's a fake and if you want to risk getting off the walker, then try if you want to, but I wouldn't because it's 99% of the time a scam because people do that just so you get off the walker. People can hack into the server, put fake hero pickups. Here, this could be a fake hero pickup. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it's probably not because I actually saw it. Okay, well, we want a sniper. I don't want to go up high. Or probably gonna want Dengar because he has a machine gun. 
Okay, well that one is not a fake kill. So if you 